work myself to death for you. Ooh, just to show I adore you. Here I go. Life depends on your touch. And my love is a river running so deep, so deep, so deep. That's my grandbaby, y'all. I'm just talking to her. Um. Anyway, to make a long story short, I want to get into the story uh, about the WNBA Center, which is Britt Griner, BG, who plays for the Phoenix Mercury, um, teammate of Diana Taurasi and Penny Taylor and, you know, the rest of them. Um, Dewana Bonner at one time. I like that team. But anyways, Brittany Griner is being held in Russia at the airport or in the detainment center because of what I'm gathering they um, didn't like what their dogs, I mean, yeah, might have sniffed out in her luggage. Okay? This is what happened. And this is the story of um, BG. As y'all know, I'm trying to get to my point and my uh, level where I can speak freely without uh, the two my uh, demonetizing me and um, other things. But I wanted to talk about uh, Brittany Griner. I believe we got enough time in here. Now, let's 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 delve into this story a little bit because it's really kind of scary for her. Um, now, um, WNBA star Brittany Griner was arrested in Russia on suspicion of illegally bringing drugs into the country after she was searched at the airport and found with hash oil in her luggage. Now, according to the Russian news agency, TASS, um, they're going to detain her, I guess, until they decide what kind of propaganda they're going to allow to um, pin on her. Um, drug charges plus some hash oil. Now, I don't know... Uh, what um, their penalties and stuff are in terms of, but a lot of times these foreign countries and their drug laws, it could be like Midnight Express. She's been trapped in Russia for three weeks. <laughs> but it's like they're trying to make it about an agenda now because I didn't even know she was in there that long. So this is kind of like, this is what it's reminding me of, that movie, Midnight Express. I don't think that's very good at all for that to be happening. Anyway, the press release about the detainment doesn't mention Griner specifically. This is another story. According to the Federal Customs Service, um, a service in Russia, Griner was detained back in February. She had flown to Moscow from New York. And according to Russian officials, a dog indicated drugs may be on her carry-on luggage. Um, her father confirmed the story. The U.S. State Department released a statement saying, we are aware of reports of a U.S. citizen arrested in Moscow. Whenever a U.S. citizen is arrested overseas, we stand ready to pr provide all appropriate consulate services. Now, Brittany's wife posted a statement on her personal Instagram after the news came out of Brittany's detainment. Thank you to everyone who has reached out to me regarding my wife's safe return from Russia, Sherelle wrote. Your prayers and support are greatly appreciated. I love my wife wholeheartedly, so this message comes during one of the weakest moments in my life. 
I understand that many of you have grown to love BG over the years and have concerns and want details. Please honor our privacy as we continue to work on getting my wife home safely. Thank you. Okay. How many times you guys say it? Anyway, Brittany Griner played her high school basketball at Nemes and then played at Baylor and was drafted by the Phoenix Suns. Overall, number one. Uh, they talked to her coach. They went and talked to her high school coach, and Nellie Ruiz, who said, Brittany is just a happy person, a good teammate. She was very humble and would you would never know she was a superstar. That's I mean I'm uh, um Anna 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 Yelly Ruiz spoke with her high school coach Debbie Jackson. I'm sorry Debbie Jackson. It worries me and everyone that knows her because we just don't know the facts. So that's more about what's going on. The Britney's detainment is obviously very alarming to everybody that is um, concerned um, because we already know what happens when you uh, uh, get detained in a foreign country with drugs. Grittner played in Russia for the last seven years in the winter, earning over a million dollars per season, more than quadruple her WNBA salary. She played her for her Russian team M U M M C Ekaterinburg on January 29th before the league took a two week break in early February for the FIBA World Cup's qualifying tournaments. The 31 year old Griner has won two Olympic gold medals uh, with the U S NBA and a WNBA championship with the Mercury and a national championship with Baylor. And she is also a seven-time All-Star. Wow. On Saturday, the State Department issued a, a do not travel advisory for Russia because of its invasion of Ukraine and <coughs> urged all of the U.S. citizens to depart immediately, citing factors including the potential of harassment against the U.S. citizens by Russian government officials. Now, the embassy's lim uh, limited ability to assist y'all if y'all get in that damn situation. Now, Brittany Griner has the WNBA's full support, and our main priority is her swift and safe return to the United States. The human rights campaign, which Griner had previously done a campaign for equality and inclusion for the LGBT community with, made the following statements. We stand with the WNBA regarding the arrest of Brittany Griner in Russia. Uh, and so the Human Rights Campaign Committee in Houston is aware of the legal situation of Ms. Griner and her safety and swift return is our utmost concern. We understand the LGBT rights in Russia are very, very, very restricted. And we will continue to strive for equal rights for all LGBT Americans stranded in every country. That's what is a concern for me. Not so much the hash oil, not so much of, um, you know, her being an American. A lot of the hatred and the adversity she's going to face is because of her sexuality. And who she chooses to love. That's what's going to be the problem with this situation. So, um, the Phoenix Mercury made this statement. We are aware and we are closely monitoring the situation with Brittany in Russia. We remain in constant contact with her family, her representation, the NBA and the WNBA. We love and support Brittany, and at this time, our main concern is her safety, physical and mental health, and to get her back home. Mm -hmm. Here's the worst part, y'all. According to the New York Times, transporting drugs can carry a sentence of up to 10 years behind bars in Russia.
Did you hear what I said? Ten years behind bars in Russia is what she could be facing. So, our prayers um, are with Brittany. I wouldn't want to be caught in another country. Um, oh, that doesn't acknowledge every aspect of freedom. I wouldn't want to be caught in that situation. So, I would hope that the prayer warriors and the people that pray, not the people that pray for a certain kind of people. But the people that pray for people to uh, form a chain of prayer around Brittany Griner right now, because uh, ten years, especially in a for any prison, is horrible enough. But to be on foreign soil has got to be the freaking fucking bad worst nightmare you could possibly think of. Excuse my French. So I'm going to go, and with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, please subscribe, please share my channel, um, and please hit the notification buttons. If you'd like to donate to the channel, all of the appropriate information is in the link below, in the description box, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, y'all.